1977, um, we were asked to, to move to Kansas City to direct the high school ministry in Kansas City. Well, um, this became for about four years one of the most difficult periods of our uh, time on staff. When we first arrived in, in Kansas City, the very first night we were in our apartment, um, a brick came crashing through our patio door and, and um, of course awakened us and, and we got up. It was just a very rocky start at the beginning. At that time in America there was a move to um, not allow people of um, faith to express themselves on the high school campuses. And there were more and more restrictions that were taking place with students. And we were even asked by the school administrators not to even attend ball games, uh, to have no contact with students on the campus environment. And of course, as ministers to, um, to teenagers, that was very difficult for us to, to have our access so limited. The people in, in Kansas City are wonderful people. Um, but for some reason, we could not um, find the community support for the high school ministry that we had been used to. And we would share our faith with students and we wouldn't see response. Um, so we saw very few students come to faith. And that was so different from what we had anticipated and experienced the rest of our ministry. And as a part of this whole situation, we were seeing that there were a number of, um, of staff situations that were going on. We had a staff couple that um, we had to dismiss from staff, and that was always a difficult thing to do. And um, the, um, the guy that I was training to hopefully take my place announced that he was being called to go internationally. And, and I thought, God, how could you do this to me, to send this key staff man to another part of the world? And so there were just all these questions that kept coming up in our minds. And when we look back on those years, um, sometimes we call them our Job years, wondering what, what are you doing in our lives, God? What are you trying to teach us? And we found ourselves constantly going back um, and just saying, Lord, we're yours, we want to reach kids. How can we effectively reach high school students? And what is it? Is it something we're doing wrong? So during that time, God began to just work in us and to prune us. Um, I remember uh, posting a little uh, plaque that said, um, Lord, prune me so on the nubs of my life you may bear your fruit. And God truly did that. He, he brought us to the point of all we could depend on was Him and, of course, each other. And to see what God was doing and teaching us in our lives, it became more a matter of what God was going to do in us than it was what He wanted to do through us. And even to this day, we look back and we, we don't know all that God accomplished in Kansas City. We, we trust that um, there are people who are walking with God as a result of our time there, but we know that God has used that time in our lives um, to mold us into the people that He wants us to be.